the goal my PI or the lab which I work in they basically focus on improving radiotherapeutic responses in patients you know that like almost 50% or more of patients who have cancer they get radiation therapy but even then it's limited by a lot of toxicity and we want things to improve it so the, the basic goal of the lab is to look at like you know things which might be um, affecting this response and how we can kind of work around to improve that response so in particular we are looking at like how radiation affects immune response and one of the proteins which we are interested in is galactin 1 which is basically can affect immune cells from coming into the tumor so the tumors basically use galactin as a kind of a barrier to let like from them from coming into the tumor and therefore if you do not have these cells entering your tumor it's not going to get recognized or killed by our immune system so that makes it really hard for you know any immunotherapy targets to work on it because immunotherapeutic drugs which are right now in trials are basically most of them you already need a pre-existing clinical uh, immune response in them for them to work so there has to be some kind of recognition and these immune che checkpoint inhibitors target like once they are there then they make them more active and then you know make them do their job better but if they're not there then obviously they cannot make them come into the tumor so we are trying a combinatorial approach where we think that if we inhibit galactin in them then basically you bring in the T cells and then you use these immune checkpoint inhibitors to keep them active for longer so it's kind of a double-edged targeting that will make them better and be better responsive so we have seen this in head and neck cancers and it's showing very good efficacy when we combine these two drugs together so we are just trying to develop this into different models and trying to look at how better um, we can achieve this response and we are also hoping that if we have a collaboration with companies now which are helping us taking it further and maybe eventually if it works in all these preclinical models it might even get into a trial phase of it so that's essentially what our research is about